Welcome to another episode of The Blitz. I will be your host once again, Brian Greer. And today, I am here to recap TCU's improbable, stunning, last-second win against Texas Tech, 55-52. Woo! What can you say about that instant classic? That hasn't already been said. I still am in shock at how TC was able to win that game. And surprised I am not in the ER right this second. Aaron Green with the tip pass from Josh Dodson for the victory. Tiptoed it in last second. I went absolutely nuts. If you're a TCU fan like me, you went nuts. I am still in shock. But this game was an instant classic. And even though I'm a TCU fan, I don't know a better game I've ever seen. Or anybody could ever day. That game was nuts. Combining for 107 points. Going for over 1,000 yards combined yardage in this game. Back and forth. This game I thought was going to put me out. Thought this is it. Thought you people weren't going to ever see my pretty face again. You know? I thought this game was going to take me away. So we've got to get into this game. Let's jump right into it with Josh the God Dotson. 18 catches, 267 yards, 3 touchdown catches. Un real performance I don't believe what I just saw yesterday I really don't besides Randy Moss when he played for Marshall I have not seen a more dominant performance in college football from a wife wife receiver position Josh Dotson was out of this world catch everything possible unreal the bomb that he caught for a touchdown from Trayvon Boykin. Insane! Did you see that? It was a classic get off me son moment. Unreal. Just unreal. Just threw the defender away like a piece of trash. Unreal TD catch. He is the best wide receiver in the nation. Not even close. Him and Trayvon Boykin are the best combo, best one-two punch in college football. And while we're at it, let's get to Trayvon Boykin. This guy has turned into an absolute weapon of mass destruction. He went for another, another, another 485 yards passing and four touchdowns. Completing 34 of 54 passes. How many times did he have to lead this team back? How many times? Just that last drive, he was a one-man wrecking crew. Just getting play after play done. Didn't matter with third down, fourth down. He was going to find a way to get this team a victory. Not a better leader right now in college football. People, you've got to start watching Trayvon Boykin out there. People at TCU know it, but he is great. Just because he doesn't play for the mighty SEC doesn't mean he's not great. Okay? We know about Larry Fournier. I know he's great. I saw him for the first time yesterday. No, he's a good player, but Trayvon Boykin is doing miraculous things week after week. And he did it again yesterday. That game, like I said, was one of the best college football games ever. Ever. And he continues to grow his legend. Continues. Okay? Get informed on Trayvon Boykin. This guy is doing something special this year. Him and Josh Dodson are lethal. Absolutely lethal. Ask Mr. Shunshades, a.k.a. Cliff Kingsbury, about him. He knows. So, you got to give it up to him. 
Gotta give it up to him. He is in a dead tie with Leonard Fournier, in my opinion, for the Heisman. Because I gotta give it to Fournier. He is. That guy is, is, is incredible. But Trayvon Boykin is right there with him. Right there with him. Gotta give it up to him. This team has decimated with injuries. Just back and forth every week. Everything. Kobe Listen beat didn't play. Josh Dotson stepped up and had a godly, legendary game. Can't forget Aaron Green. Toted the ball 18 times. Or actually, 28 times. 267 yards. Three touchdowns. Or, I'm sorry, two touchdowns. That last one. Being at the right place at the right time. I actually had the pleasure of being at a sports bar next to a Texas Tech alumni. And he had the most priceless face after Aaron Green caught that improbable touchdown pass. He looked like Maury Poe was just told him he was the father of quadruplets. Yes, he did. That, that face was class. I wish you could share that moment with me. Because in this sports bar, I was the only TCU fan and everybody else was just stunned. Told them all to get on the bandwagon. Because you will. <laughs> you will. You're going to go to the bandwagon. You're going to go to the bandwagon. Because you know you loved that, didn't you? Y'all loved that, didn't you? You loved it. You loved it. All you ESPN people. All you big homers out there. All CBS Sports. Yeah, I'm calling y'all out. Y'all loved that, did y'all? Y'all just wish it was the SEC, right? Y'all wish Trayvon Boyk and Josh Dotson put up godly numbers. Wish that was the SEC, don't y'all? Y'all want them, but don't you Alabama fans? <laughs> right, Ole Miss? Struggling with Vandy at home? Yeah, we remember. How y'all love that? No, you loved it. So, hey, we're going to continue. As TCU fans, we're going to continue. Keep it rolling next week. Team is decimated on defense, so let's stop all that. Busy five starters, like I said, on defense. But I've got to give it up to Texas Tech. Hell of a game. Mahomes, the quarterback, throwing over 300 yards, just willing his team. You have Washington, incredible game from him at the running back position, going for over 180 yards. Jakeem Grant, incredible player, gives it all he has, just made big play for big play. Mahomes converting fourth downs. Texas Tech is coming. Got to give up to Cliff Kingsbury. Mr. Stunner Shades, he's doing it. He's doing it. If he ever finds a defense, that team is going to be one to watch out for in the future. Because that game right there, I thought was going to take me off this earth. I was absolutely convinced with a minute ago that game was going to take me out of here. So, like I said, Congrats, TCU. Another tough, gutted-out victory. Don't listen to all these haters out here talking about you only play Texas Tech, yada, yada, yada. All this, are you a top four team stuff? Just keep winning. Just keep winning. Because I'm pretty sure that all those other people are saying having much fun as TCU fans are having right now. Isn't that right, SEC? Isn't that right, Alabama? You love that, didn't you? <laughs> hey, LSU, you wish you had Trayvon Boykin, don't you? Leonard Fournier is going to be on a stretcher by, by week six. He keeps running the ball 85 times a game. Yeah, I wish y'all loved that, didn't you? Wish y'all had that. It's all right. Just tune in next week. Tune in next week. They'll be, they'll be back against Texas. Woo! Texas fans. How'd that feel? How'd that feel? Yeah. Yeah. Coming to TCU next week. It's going to be, going to be a long one, baby. Keep your head up, Chuck Strong. Keep your head up. So, with that being said, want to hear your guys' comments on this epic victory, TCU? What did you think? Was Josh Dotson Forrest the best performance you ever seen for a wide receiver in college football history? Trayvon Boykin, is he the highest of a front runner? Was this the best college football game you've ever seen? Can't stop yelling. If you saw a game, you understand. Really want to look forward to your guys' comments on this. And as always, subscribe to Unrivaled Multimedia. Need you to comment on all our videos. 
We're doing a lot more stuff coming up in the future. And as always, until the next episode of Blitz, take it easy. <laughs>